Goofus and Gallant were brothers in my highlights magazine. Goofus was a naughty, disrespectful child. Gallant was a mother's dream. Gallant was polite to his parents' friends. Gallant got straight A's in class. Gallant helped his dad with the yard work. Goofus would just lay in the grass. Goofus was nothing but trouble. When something broke, Goofus was blamed. Each month, highlights showed us the face of evil. Goofus was named. When Goofus and Gallant got older, neighbors' pets started to disappear. His mom found a dime bag in Goofus's pocket, and Dad was missing some beer. Goofus took wood shop in high school. Gallant AP physics and chem. Goofus was caught on tape robbing a Wawa and spent 15 years in the pen. Goofus was nothing but trouble. When something broke, Goofus was blamed. Each month. Showed us the face of evil. Goofus was named. Gallant married some girl from Holy Oak. His wealth and his power grew. Goofus fell asleep on the train tracks, and now he only needs one shoe. And so the story went. Gallant had an idea to buy gas from a network of suppliers and sell it to a network of consumers, contractually guaranteeing both the supply and the price, charging fees for the transaction and assuming the associated risks. Goofus initially had some luck playing the blues guitar, but his band then fell victim to a hostile corporate takeover by Michael Flatley of Riverdance, and Goofus couldn't keep up. Years went by, mother passed away, and finally their father took ill and was on his deathbed. Gallant walked into the hospital room and he whispered in his father's ear. Do you think Goofus had the brains to plan a convenience store heist? And hey, Dad, thanks for the beer. It was too late to change the will, and his father thought as he lay dying. Maybe if your kids are rude and lazy brats, maybe they're doing just fine. Set up. If something broke, Goofus was blamed. Turns out Gallant was the evil sociopath, and Goofus was framed. Goofus was framed. Goofus was framed. Goofus was framed. Goofus was framed.